Just uh, talk about what you guys did right to, uh, to to pull this out today. You know, they really couldn't Bro, stop. You know, we had Belly and Belly Pass. Those were our, uh, kind of our bread and butter, and they couldn't stop both. Today was, uh, you know, Belly was working and Belly Pass was working, so it was kind of the, uh, the uh, best of both worlds. And... Um, just got a win, got out here, you know, 46 points on my senior day. As an offensive uh, player, is, is phenomenal. So, you know, I'm happy for all the seniors, and, uh, you know, we had a really emotional burning of the cleats last night kind of uh, to commemorate our four years here. So, you know, I'm happy to get out with a win. How about the last three minutes of that uh, first half, too? You guys scored to get a comfortable lead, and then all of a sudden, Vince, two picks on back-to-back -back passes for touchdowns. What would that do to you guys emotionally? Oh, I mean, Vince, you know, he's been making plays since he was a sophomore, and, uh, you know, Coach Jokes gave him the game ball, which I thought was great. You know, he really deserves it. I don't think he's missed a practice uh, since he's been here. He's always at workouts, so always trying to do things for the school. Um, so he really, you know, exemplifies what a uh, Trinity Catholic captain is. So uh, I, I was happy for Vince, and it just kind of, you know, got the ball rolling. When defense makes plays, uh, we win ball games. So, you know, he made two phenomenal plays. Uh, it's probably the fastest I've seen him run all year. So. <laughs> Coach Cunningham, too, for them, was, was pleased with the job they did defensively on Rivas. I mean, obviously, he's a bull. He'll pick up four or five yards of carry. But he was more concerned about the defensively what Mike did against them and also, obviously, the kick return there at the opening of this, of this yeah, uh, I mean, after Mike, the touchdown. Yeah, Mike, he, you know, he's a great player. He's going to be, a, you know, all-state player next year. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, I think defensively, he's probably – I think he's better than he is offensively, but he doesn't think so. Mike! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best friend, Mike Rivas. We were just saying, Co Coach Cunningham was just saying that, that he was happy with the, he, you know, contained you somewhat offensively, but yeah. defensively said he said you killed him. A lot of penetration and also the kickoff return. J just talk about how if, if things aren't going well for you offensively, what I do mean, you try to do to help the team? I mean, uh, I, this season I wasn't, I didn't even want to play D. I think I probably played like five defensive games. I told all the coaches I hate defense. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, everyone tells me keep playing it. You're good at it, but I don't like it. But I'm getting better, so I'm starting to like it more and more. And, uh, I mean, I don't care that they contain me. We won. That's no, exactly. As long yeah. as we win. Yeah. Uh, take me through the kickoff return, too. How big was that? Because, you know, if they score maybe a couple yeah. times early, it's a ball game, and, and you just answered right away. Yeah, I knew. If, I mean, I, I knew we were coming back out hard, that we weren't going to let that touchdown affect us. Uh, we have two great returners in the back. And they kicked it short to me, and the hole was there. There was great blocking, and I saw the hole and took it. As a junior, how important is it for you guys to send these guys out as, with a win a in lot. this game? Uh, it means a lot. I've, uh, I'm, I said last night, I feel like I'm more a part of their class because I've, I've been playing with them since I was a freshman. JV, we had an undefeated season with them. Uh, we, I, I've bonded a lot. My brother's a senior. I wanted to see him go out with a win. So it means a lot to me. And last year we were able to put our seniors out with a win. I also played in that game. It felt great. So I didn't want to lose to that. Just talk about the last three minutes of that uh, first half. I mean, it was uh, great. It was great. I mean, I got to give all the credit to my teammates because two of the interceptions was was off of uh, basic like sacks. And then he just threw it up mm -hmm. and I just came and picked it off. So uh, I give credit to Tyler and uh, Mike. So it was, it was great. It was a great end to the first half. And that's funny, too, because Coach Cunningham was saying they were pleased with the job they did on Rivas mm -hmm. off or defensively, yeah. yet on, the, on offense, Rivas just killed them. I mean, yeah, he does that every game. How ta I mean, as talented as he is offensively, does his defense get overlooked, do you think? Yeah, definitely, because he's one of the best defensive players we have at linebacker. He's great. He's great. Did you ever, as a senior, right, you're a senior, did you ever imagine you go out with this type of game, scoring two touchdowns? Uh, I, hadn't, I haven't had a touchdown all season, so... I was just—I just wanted to get the win, so two touchdowns was just a bonus. It was good. And as a senior too, what does it mean for you to win this final game, Coach Stokes' great. first year? It's great. I wanted to win it for my teammates, Coach, because it was his first year and my last game. So I just wanted to go off on top. So it was great. Obviously, you know, you, you know, the first interception those happen from time to time. But when you picked that second one and you saw the running room you had, what were you thinking? I was just—I was just thinking, it's time to party in the end zone. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was so happy. Uh, getting on top early too. How key was that? To, that to was definitely key because our coach said he wants us to put our foot on their throat and um, not let it go, and, and just uh, that's what we did. Well, you're right. We had a really tough start, you know, going against FCX Staples, FCX champions Staples, New Canaan, St. Joe's, who was playing great football at the beginning of the year. You know, it was just a really rough start, and we had we had a uh, young guys, old guys, 
But just getting thrown off early in the season really hurt us. But we bounced back hard. It was a tough loss to, Stan loss to Stanford High. But mm. we played we played well these last couple of games, and that really helped. And talk a little bit about today's game. Just, you know, obviously you get on top early, but the last three minutes of that first half, you scored three straight touchdowns. Uh, Vince played amazing. There's no question about that. That was his best game of his career by far. You know, he was quiet all year, and he came up big. That's why he's a captain, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, just going ahead and bringing it to him into the half gave us the momentum to win the rest of the game. Defensively, do you think you guys are unsung a little bit in terms of uh, how good you guys are? Yeah, well, we had, our best defensive players are young guys. You know, we had uh, me in the middle, and then Mike Rivas and Tyler Zara on the outsides. That was us three. We're, we're really key to the defense, but our defensive line was very underrated this year. They gave us rushes this game that really benefited us, and our defense really came up big these last couple of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk about, you know, obviously getting out to the early lead. I in any him, game's a big help. I, so. I asked him that. I, I asked him to start. Start. We took the opening drive. I think we scored. We scored on our opening drive. Mm -hmm. So I, I asked him to start fast. And uh, and and as of late, I mean, the last five games, we've, we've, we've played good football. We've played solid football. And uh, that's all I can ask. And, and, and you know, I, I really believe it's the way we've been practicing. We've been practicing like our lives are on the line. We've been practicing hard. And, and they take it over to the field. And... And I, and I just think the way Vincent played at the corner spot today, he uh, he really helped. He, he took a lot of life out of uh, out of Wilton there on back to back, and and you know they they, they couldn't recover. And and I think you know those weren't the game winning points. Uh, 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 I don't think they were, but they, they took a lot of air out yeah. of the receiving boys. Yeah. And was that him jumping the route, or how much of it was goes to your defensive line or linebackers for getting penetration? Well, I, I think I think uh, we had a little pressure on on their quarterback. I, I know I know. Uh, their coaches are probably saying that was an ill-advised throw, uh, and a high school quarterbacks are probably going to make that mistake as well as any any. A lot of color, quarterbacks are just trying to make them a, a play, but uh, you know, Vincent, I have great defensive backfield coaches. You know, Frankie Rabasa and uh, Craig Baker work work their butts off of him, and you know, Vincent just had enough. And he knew it was his final game, and he's been playing that route for three years now. <laughs> So it must took a little longer to sink in with him. Yeah. Coach Cunningham was saying he was pleased with the job that they did on Rivas offensively, but defensively he thought he, he killed he killed. He played well. hard. Yeah, he, I mean, he played hard. I mean, Michael asked me to go down a nose this year. He wanted them, he wanted to play nose, and 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 I told him that you know it's my first year as being a high school football coach. Mike, I don't want it to be my last. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are a tough kid. You, you play hurt, but at that nose spot, you know he would have probably been banged up mm -hmm. a, a lot more than he is. He is a very athletic young man. And for him to run and chase down plays, you know, it, it's it, it's hard to run at him. It's even worse when you run away from him. Yeah. So uh, he's a he's a very good high school football player, and I hopefully go go on and play college football. And you're saying he doesn't like defense. <laughs> he also tell you he also tell you he doesn't like to eat too. He, he might be holding some secrets. He's, he he doesn't. No, he practices hard. He's yeah. been practicing hard. So. Yeah. How, how big was that touchdown return too? Because once Walton grabbed just the tiniest bit of momentum, Absolutely. you guys took it right back. I, you know, in the back of my mind, as I, as I told Tim before, I've I've played on this field and I and I've watched, uh, I've seen our offense score 30 points in six minutes, mm -hmm. and we beat Fairfield Prep in 1983 to go to state title on this field. So. I'm never gonna have to not. I'm never not gonna have to uh, to know that. I just have to get it across to the kids. The games are never over. When the final whistle's over, that's when they're over. Yeah. So for Timmy, I mean, for Brucey to come out and score on that drive, it's uh, you know, that was that was huge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your first year's wrapped up. Had some had had its ups, had it down, had its downs. But just summarize your first year as head coach here and just what it meant to you and what this team is your first varsity Trinity Catholic team means to you. Um. Summing up, it, it, it was it was a great, you know, it was, it was a great experience. The the the, the win loss record, um, it wasn't where we wanted it to be, and, and and I'd say that for my whole staff, and we all know that. But as far as being here, and you know, not 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 a lot has changed. We're we're still pressing hard. We we want to be undefeated. We want to play for for city titles, uh, league titles, and state titles, and that's our goal. And this year, through some of the games, we realized what we have to do. And uh, that is work our butts off in the uh, in the weight room, and uh, I believe that we are going to work our butts off in the weight room, and hopefully that is going to come uh, and help us next year. So um, I'm excited, I'm ready to go. I want to work on Monday, but I'm going to give the kids a couple weeks off. <laughs>